So now in this video, we're gonna wire up the LM358 op amp as a voltage follower. Of course, we need to power it, positive supply to pin number eight up there. Remember it goes one, two, three, four, and then uh, pin number four to the uh, negative supply, which is ground, our zero volt reference point, five, six, seven, eight. So in any case, we set a voltage with a uh, trim pot in this case to the non-inverting input. And when we wire it as a voltage follower, that will also be the voltage at the output. The output will do what it can to hold that voltage. The way that it does that is we're gonna tie, I'm just gonna use a little jumper to connect the output directly to the inverting input. And with negative feedback like that, the result that you get is that the output does whatever it can to get the same voltage to the inverting input as the non-inverting input. So here is the circuit on the board and there you can see the output is directly to the inverting input. The non-inverting input, we have a trim pot right there to set a variable voltage. Anywhere from, a, we're gonna use a five volt power supply up to five volts, down to zero volts right there, and anywhere in between. These are the oscilloscope alligator clips that uh, come out of my pocket oscilloscope there. We connect this one to ground. The voltage we're interested in is in relationship to ground. And now we're gonna go to the output, the uh, top pin of the uh, integrated circuit on the left. So the power was off. I just turned the uh, power on. And uh, you can see right there, we got uh, five volts. So in any case, we are close to the maximum voltage that this can output. We'll go down and uh, you can see it's dropping down right there. I'll zoom back a little bit more. And then when I turn the trim pot towards the uh, positive supply, it goes up. Now it doesn't make it all the way to supply voltage, there we go, it leveled off at four, but I can still turn the trim pot up a bit more. And you'll see here that we have five volts at the uh, power supply right there, five volts at the non-inverting input, and then at the output, we got four. So we can't go all the way to the positive supply with this LM358, it's a single supply op amp. If you want to go all the way to the uh, positive supply with no load, you need a rail to rail op amp. And of course, for visual effect, I like to use LEDs right here. So we have the cathode, the short lead of the red LED headed to that jumper there that goes to ground. With the blue LED, we have the long lead, the anode to the positive supply right there. And you'll be able to see I can fade the LEDs by adjusting the voltage in right there. So that one's dimming, now that one's lighting up. It all depends on the uh, voltage that we got. Now, we will see here that we lost range of voltage. It's not making it up to four volts anymore with the uh, positive supply, with the current that we're putting through. So I got 220 ohm resistor. That may be uh, too low of a value actually, but uh, probably not hurting anything. Now I'll uh, turn the trim pot down. You can see the blue LED starting to light up. And now when I try to go to ground, it uh, doesn't go all the way to ground. It's almost a volt above it. So that's based on the uh, current going through there. So in any case, I can't remember how much current you're supposed to uh, put through the output, either sinking or sourcing. But uh, you won't damage anything if you try to put too much through. It will limit the uh, current. So in any case, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you can donate, please do. I have links down in the description. I could really use that right now, but in any case, I really appreciate you watching from uh, start to finish. That helps a lot. I'll see you in the next video.